once it's time, I'm going to go live, okay? Do, 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 <laughs> go for it. I will. I will go for it. You watch me. I mean, technically, you can't really watch me, but yeah. What was that? Oh, yeah, I did earlier. Yeah, I thought I showed you, bro. You did not. <clears throat> All right. Uh, just... You're okay? okay. No. <laughs> no, I'm not. Go, uh, Let's see what we got here. You go do that. Oh, is he not feeling good? He just needs to go to the bathroom. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let me get my drink out. Ah, it's better. All right. We will be starting in just a moment. All right, then. All right. I'm going to hit live, like, to make it go public, and then I will start singing. Um, just don't interrupt. I will introduce you, okay? Okay. Understand. Okay. All right, here we go. Starting. Oh, it's, it's safe. Make sure that it's working. Okay. It should be live. Let's see if we're getting people coming in yet. <clears throat> Our glorious city was built by the divinities by gods who saw fit to bestow the gift of a paradise peaceful and harmonious upon us mere mortals below and made El Dorado the magnificent and golden 1,000 years ago. El Dorado, El Dorado, El Dorado. But all this was granted for only one millennium upon. Anyway. I'm going to stop singing there because I know that a lot of you don't come here for my singing, and I thank you all for listening, although you probably can't hear me now. Your ears are bleeding. You've lost the ability to hear. I deeply apologize. Um, still getting stuff ready. Lark uh, is busy right now. He will be with us in just a moment. Promise he will. Um, but I am not quite ready yet either. I'm still getting stuff ready on my end, but I've got an announcement to make, and if you'll give me just a second, I will tell you all about it. I hope you guys are actually very excited. This is going to be something interesting. It's going to be, uh, we're going to be joined tonight by a very special guest. This is going to be interesting. You actually know this guest. Now, why can't I, hold on, dealing with some, uh... oh, that's why. Hold on, I need to fix, because uh... I can't see chat right now and my pooter's acting a bit weird. My pooter, my pooter. 
uh, I'll just wait on Lark to show up and then he can read chat to me. Or I guess I could pull it up on, uh, yeah, okay, I'll do it this way. I'll pull it up on my side, on my phone. All right. Good. Okay, so my guest is now with us and I am pulling up the stream on my end so that I can read y'all's chat because I want to read your chat, guys. While I'm getting all this set up, I'm going to go ahead and introduce our uh, guest tonight. Um, you know my guest very well. She is the person who draws much of the art that you see on this channel. The other one is Jay, and you know him. But tonight we are joined by Hannah, or as she likes to be called when it comes to the bird name thing, Goose. So Hannah, why don't you say hi to everybody? Hi, everybody. To be honest, I thought you were like, had already introduced me because I had to leave to go to the zoo and now I'm back. Oh, uh, no, I, I have not introduced you yet. Uh, you, you, I was building up because I was having some trouble pulling up the uh, chat on my end. Um, but yes, Hannah is going to be joining us tonight. Um, so I hope you guys are excited for that. Like I said, Lark will be with us in a minute. But uh, glad to have you on, Hannah. Now, Hannah's not going to be playing with me. Um, she's just going to be here to chat with us and have a fun night. So as usually, we're as usual, we're going to start with um, Dominion, and we're just going to have a good time. So uh, tonight, you don't you not only get to ask questions of me, but you also get to talk to Hannah a little bit, and that'll be very fun. That, that'll be very oh, fun, won't it? And before you start, can I ask the first question, Raven? Uh, who's it addressed to? To to you, Raven. Uh, okay. Uh, what what question? Well, first of all, can you share your screen? Oh, uh, yeah. One second. Uh, <laughs> I, I forgot. I forgot. Hold on. We can fix that. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to share my screen with Hannah so that she can see what's going on. Okay, this should do it. Okay. I forgot that I shared screens. I was saving it until we actually started. <laughs> Let me know when you can see it. Yes, I can see it now. You're good to go. All right, awesome. So Hannah is in. Now, while I'm playing, I obviously can't read chat. Um, Lark is not available to read chat right now. He's busy. Um, but I will respond to chat as soon as I can. Now nah, I'm picking up my boy. I'm picking up Goki. I got you, bro. I got big you, bro. Boy. I got the big boy. Hey, Raven and Hannah, I have always wondered, what does Raven play for honor on? I play it on the PlayStation 5, bro. The only okay. good console. Hannah, my question for you is, could you draw Persona user Claire for the Persona 5 streams? That wouldn't be a bad idea. Honestly, I would have to get with Raven on what kind of design concepts he may have in mind. Oh, I have some ideas, but the reason I didn't ask is because you drew that gamer Claire, and since you had never played Persona and didn't have any interest in playing Persona, I thought asking you would seem a little rude. Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I have no problem doing it for a cost, though. Also, hi, Raven. Glad to catch the stream. Hey, glad you're here. Oh, and if you guys hear a cat in the background, I apologize. It's Gracie. Wait, wait I dodged that. I dodged that attack. Ooh, Gladiator, that is unfortunate. This is very unfortunate, sir. That didn't work out the way you wanted, did it? <laughs> uh, nope. That was mean. So wait, which uh, hero are you playing as now? This is, is it the Lawbringer? Griffin. This is Griffin, Griffin but you, okay. were you were close. Because Griffin is basically Lawbringer on steroids. I mean, he is on the night faction, so it doesn't matter. It's, it's close enough. That's close enough. Hey, there you go. All right, so the tree dude says, the new hero is releasing on my birthday. Biggest pain is to decide whether to save for Star World or buy the hero. Uh, that's a good question. I don't know what you should do. A woman playing for honor? Impossible. Well, I'm not a woman, and Hannah's not playing. <laughs> I, I tried. Um, if there was more story to it, I might have played a lot more. 
But considering that the type of gameplay it is, I wouldn't have been as interested in it for very long. I'm about to be surrounded. You just gotta believe, man. Believe. 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 Oh crap, I'm dead. Save me, Goki, thank you. Okay, which one of you guys didn't believe hard enough? <laughs> it was me. Lark is back and he is pulling up the stream. Hopefully. All right, so let, let's hear some chat stuff, because I haven't been able to check chat. Which I want to go so far in this game. The mythical creature woman hanging out before Raven? Impossible. 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 It can't be done. Careful, don't. Ah, I fed revenge. For Rico, who says, nah, man, we're a myth, you know. Crap! By the way, guys, you saw Sound of Freedom last night? Wow. Yeah, that is a little heck of a film right there. If you haven't seen it, I recommend seeing it. No, I will warn you, it can be a little heavy. Yeah, that, that was the reason I was nervous to see it. Hey, Lark, would you consider Batarian above a synth or below? Okay. <laughs> Lark was walking away to get a drink, and he turned right around. Hold on, hold on, I need to talk about it. <laughs> this drink needs to wait. Since, particularly like Gen 3s, are basically clones based off of biological, based off of biological cells. Human DNA. They are constructed from human DNA. So while they aren't exactly human, they are still made from humanity and therefore are above Batarians, which are somewhere, if handled properly, about six feet beneath the dirt. There, I believe I've made my point. Good work there, Raider. I love you, Raider. You did good. You did good. I'm going to die, but you did good. She's doing all she can do her best. Okay, uh, Lark, you back now? You can read chat again? And are you working on anything big? Oh, yeah. Uh, and the funny thing is, and I know you'll answer, but before you do, I think it's funny. I did talk to her about some stuff she could work on, um, but I don't know. Are you working on anything? Um, yeah, the next uh, Primark for Genshin. Yeah, I still need to finish writing that, though. Yeah, you do! I've been busy. Excuses, that's all I hear. Well, it's all you're gonna hear. I'm just saying, How? every time I mention Ferrara around the woman, I've been called a nerd. Nerd! There we go, it has been done. Hello, Lord. Hello, Lord, Lord of Chaos. I'm a Lord now? Man, I got promoted. <laughs> I don't want to bug inside. Someone come help! By the way, how goes the renovations? Uh, the floors are done! Hey, Gracie! Oh, you did hear her. <laughs> yeah, I could hear her. Yeah, she'll talk. Speak, Gracie! No, she can't hear you. Rare! I found out that act of sonar is easily one of the deadliest things that a diver can experience with the sound of it matching that of a rocket taking off. <laughs> Personal experience, or...? Well, anyway, guys, can you... Oh, cat, cat! Cat, cat! It's a cat! <laughs> uh, excuse me, it's called a loaf of bread, thank you. See, uh, your cat is essentially a loaf of bread. Like, there is no question. What kind of cat is yes. it? What kind of cat Gracie is? A loaf of bread. Uh, she is a, um, she is a tortoise shell. Maximus? She is a tortoise shell cat. Right, is that an actual She's the kind of cat that death would go after in Puss in Boots. We need an all cat reboot of Ghostbusters. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so she's a dog. Oh! 
What kind of bread? She is a baguette. She is a baguette. <laughs> All right. Uh, since Hannah is with us, I'll go her baby. I will go Hannah's baby tonight. Yes. Daniel. Will she be better than 2016? Hey, Raven, I'm here early. Glad to have you early, Duncan. Glad to have you here. Um, but I'm glad that Hannah's here, too. Um, because I was not expecting this. It was funny. We were getting ready for the stream tonight, and Hannah, uh, you know, she just got on, and she said, she, I, I, we were talking on Discord. And she said, hey, would you mind uh, letting me join you on, on your For Honor stream tonight? And I went, you want to play? I thought you said you didn't want to play For Honor anymore. And he goes, no, like, talking. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, when you asked me, it's like, oh, you're going to play with me? I was like, <laughs> yeah, well, how about your most recent projects? Which Primark are you doing against right now? Hannah's, well, di Hannah's, Hannah's dying over here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, the question was asked, uh, what projects are you working on and which Primark for Genshin are you doing next? All right. <clears throat> so, the other than the um, Genshin project I'm working on, I am also working on my story, Divine Warfare. Um, I'm also working on other projects that I work with uh, uh, with Raven. And then for the next Primark, um, I think it's one that's already been picked from you guys. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing Fulgrim next. Yeah, the prison. Uh, hold on. Uh, Lark, what's with this no hate, no anger, no fear person? What, what are they saying? Uh, I, I don't know. The uh, earlier post of the concept of, you know, like, Jesus forgiving us of our sins, which totally on board with. Uh, dude, wait, you, were, you know we already are Christian, right? Yeah. I, I don't know where he's coming from. Like, we, we are already Christian and we talk about Christ all the time in our stream, so we're good. Does he want to these boys? Fulgrim the Fem Boy? Yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. It's probably a bot, more than likely. First time I've seen a Christian uh, bot. Interesting. <clears throat> Fulgrim the sus. Yeah, he, he kind of is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Raven Knight, I already have my asset character in mind. His name is Tottle Totchley, and I, and I sam and a sample of his story is, is a demon for... Oh, I couldn't read the rest of it. Hey, Lark, what's your opinion on the Biden administration? Declare, I can't read the rest of it. I can only see so much. Oh, yeah, I'm declaring war on the sun. Wait, <laughs> Biden has declared war on the sun. Not in those terms, but basically he's trying to find ways to block out the sun to fight global warming. Uh, um, wait, are they I'm serious? Like, okay, really? I didn't want you to make Ubisoft perfect. It's just ridiculous. The donuts will not be silenced. We want more the donuts inside. And bleed out. There we go. Your baby girl got a kill. Yay! Well, we can't have everything. Actually, Peacekeeper's getting a uh, hero fest soon, I understand. <laughs> Yay, because she's best girl, that's why. <laughs> Yeah, P uh, Hannah's favorite character is Peacekeeper, if y'all couldn't tell. Yeah, so all, all your haters are just going to hate, uh, just going to have to keep going with it. Your well, yeah, we, we do that all the time, bro. Yeah, we, we do all the time. We, we talk about, like, we usually answer questions about Christ on these streams. Ooh, light parry, not bad. Ooh, good, good parry, good parry. Oh, okay, he outplayed me. I'm dead. I won't be surprised if final signs of Jedi's pop. At least somebody's pop. I tell you what. More than likely. Yeah, I'm sharing, guys. I'm <laughs> I don't think we're going to win this one, boys, uh, but we will do our best. Not with that attitude. Victoria has been too busy uh, comforting the Zane Nusha after she found out the impending doom uh, coming to her cow trots. Hello, Hannah. Have you made your have you made Claire into a dragon girl before? Uh, well, that was the original plan. I I mean, honestly, we could for 
August because it'll be smogist. Um, I mean, that, that could happen, yeah. <clears throat> Crap, they're all light parriers. <laughs> I was outnumbered there, nothing I could do. You didn't try hard enough. Is Griffin a knight, or can Griffin identify as any, any faction? Well, he's in the knight faction, so... Yeah, I, I always thought he was going to be an outlander. Well, honestly, it is 2023, so he can identify as anyone. Yeah. Can you make something more of the range related? That would be awesome. Uh, maybe? God damn! What? What? What are War Warlord? What are you doing? Why are you doing he's, that? He's glitching. Nah, he's just emote spamming. Which? Oh, uh, is that yeah. what that was? I thought it was just like having a seizure or something. Emote spamming is basically where you start an emote, but then constantly keep hitting the button over and over again to basically look like you're in, like you're being in a, a like rude. Oh well, it just looked like he was having a seizure. Well, so. All right, let's. Oh. <laughs> kind of looks like Bumblebee from Transformers. Don't hit him. Let him bleed out. Let him bleed out. <clears throat> oh, good job. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what? You didn't like that? Come on, dude. Deal with it. Is Ocelotalus an assassin or a hybrid? He's a hybrid. No question. Ocelotal is a hybrid. Yeah, they're all hybrids. Come on. Considering his feet, you'd think they make him an assassin. You'd think? Hey, Hannah, what's your opinion on Kingdom Hearts? Kingdom Hearts? Better let her go off. Well, here is my opinion on Kingdom Hearts. It's crap. <laughs> and that's the end. <clears throat> I mean, I could go more into it, but you guys don't want to listen to that. You sure? Only if the fans want it. Uh, and I think they actually do. <laughs> Okay, um, so honestly, after playing the third one, which was like absolutely incredibly disappointing, I kind of just prefer one and two. After that, it's just like, it's just an experiment after experiment. Nomori has absolutely no idea what he's doing with anything. Fury can come up with good concepts, but he can't really stick with them, and because of that, everything just turns out to absolute crap! And then I'm stuck with freaking, freaking Zout, not, what was his name? Uh, Zigbar! I'm stuck with Zigbar! I fucking hate Zigbar so fucking much! Okay. I'm done. You're stuck with Sigmar? You're Sigmar? Oh God, uh, Zig uh, Zigbar, yeah, I hate yeah, Zigbar. It's so hard you'll wind up in Warhammer. <laughs> oh God. But yeah, that Warlord got a little salty there when we beat him. So when does Sora's gummy ship run into uh, a, uh, the Gothic fleet from 40k? That'd be hilarious. <clears throat> you know, I kind of would like it if they kind of showcase like Disney worlds that were consumed by darkness. Like, you kind of saw it. A good example probably would have been the Black Cauldron. I'm like, sorry, sorry, dude. You lost me in a 1v1. I wouldn't start getting smart. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. Do it. Do it to two. Okay. It. Hey, Raven, I have a question. Please, please don't take it as an insult. You do that a lot. Oh. Um, wow, okay, Lark, read the rest of that question. I'm very curious. First of all, first of all, insinuating that I take everything you ask as an insult, that is already a defaming quote right there by just assuming that I'll take your thing as an insult because I do that a lot. Do you not realize how that could be taken as an insult? 
Do you not realize that? In answer to your question, yes, God has answered my prayers. I can name at least four times in recent memory that he has. But, dude, like, do you, <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know what to say to that. I honestly don't even know what to say to that. That was cringe. <laughs> I don't mind that he brings up religion, but that bit right there. Mm. I don't mind, mind that he does it either, but the thing is, he said he wouldn't, and then he does. Go ahead, spill the beans. I, what? You want me to tell you about those four times? All right, Frankie Develop has dropped two bucks that hang out. Can you turn a raven into a female smog? That is oddly specific. Okay, so we got two bucks for Hannah to draw me as a female dragon. Oh boy. Hey, you got two bucks out of it. This is true. The B1 says I'm listening. Okay, I'll give you one. Um, a couple of years ago, the camp that I used to work at and that me and my brother went to as children, uh, there was a fire in the mountains moving towards it at a rapid pace. Um, it was very it was during the dry season, so we were very worried that we were about to lose this camp that we'd known for so long and loved. We were very upset. Um, and then, and so we prayed, our whole family prayed, our church prayed, we all were praying, um, that God would work a miracle, but if he didn't, thank him for what the camp did for us, it was all a very important time. But then, sure enough, the next day we got news that a rainstorm had blown through the mountain pass where the, uh, fire was going, and had knocked out the fire before it reached the camp. This rainstorm was not scheduled it was not something that the meteorologists had planned for but it had come anyway um and that was one answer to prayer another was uh several years back a family friend who we can do so close uh he's practically a brother to our father we call him uncle uh, he was diagnosed with uh, melanoma and the doctors gave him maybe a year or two to live and we prayed that he would you know for a miracle and he prayed that he just wanted to be able to uh dance at his daughter's wedding. That's all he prayed for and that's all he wanted. He has now, uh, he has now welcomed grandbaby number two into the world. So yep. I consider that a miracle. So yeah, that's two right there. We could go into two more, but I think the point is made. Melanoma is a uh, skin cancer, but the thing is with him, it was like very advanced because he spent a good bit of time going out in the sun, and so was, they were afraid it was going to start spreading to the rest of the body. Well, on a um, on another note, off of that, hey Raven, are you going ever going to stream on Twitch? I don't know. Hey Raven, what is what for honor character so far removed from history that you have to stretch? Um. The Jorman Gunder was the one that I really had to stretch because there is no actual historical connection. Crap, I thought that I was in range of that. I can only hear Hannah eating chips. It's not the problem. I'm that sorry! Chips, but she's not offering to share. I'm sorry! No, you're not. I tried to be quiet. I tried to be quiet. I'm sorry. You're not sorry. Hannah, have I'm you ever so played Five Nights at Freddy? No, I don't want to. Wait, you finally have F and AF question? <laughs> like, gosh, we talk about all these other things. We talk for honor. We talk Christianity. We talk My Little Pony some nights. Finally, we get a Five Nights at Freddy question. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> I need me some Hannah ASMR in my life. <laughs> uh, what what, what else that? you got? Is it, they said we need some Hannah ASMR in our lives. Oh, my God. Anyway, uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'll try to be quiet uh, with the chip. Probably not a good idea, considering we're already juggling uh, having a connection over a PlayStation chat. Probably maybe next time, Falcon. It doesn't look like we're going to do well there. Hannah, have you ever heard? Have you, Hannah, have you ever heard of uh, Fazbear Frights and Tales from the Pizzaplex books? No, I, I mean I've I've seen it at Walmart, but that's about it. The old expert just dropped twenty bucks, saying, "Here's some money to money and to change the subject onto something not so heavy." Raven, I do 
unironically like the Tau. That's fine. But I will admit they are heavily flawed, and I hope that Games Workshop turns them into the Covenant. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be some more improvement. But thanks for the 20 bucks. And here's the thing. We don't hate the Tau so much either, but sometimes the fans can break. And I know sometimes the Imperium fans can break too, so I can't get on it too much. Yep. <clears throat> Wait a minute. That reminds me. Where's my request for... Um... Warhammer meets Mass Effect. Where's that? Still working on it. Uh, okay, okay. Hey, Hannah, have you ever played any of the Sly Cooper games? Yes! So, funny story to that, guys. Funny story. Okay, okay. So... Ooh, or no, no, let Hannah finish answering her question. <laughs> okay. So, when the first game came out, I remember seeing the trailer of it, and I really wanted the game. Well, it was also getting close to my sister's birthday, so we went to the store, we saw the Sly Cooper game, and I convinced my dad, like, hey... My sister, or I, I can't say her name, she would like this game, but in actuality, I wanted this game for myself. So, Dad bought the game. We gave it to her for her birthday, but secretly, I was like, I'm going to play the crap out of this game. Well, I ended up not playing the game, but I would watch my sister play it a lot and would actually also help her with it. So, that became more of a good sibling bonded, bonding moment, uh, and we played, like, all three of them, and we had so much fun with them. We didn't play the fourth one because I think at that time when it did come out, my sister had moved out and she was married and she was expecting her first child. Um, but I know whenever we do get to hang out and she spends the night with me, uh, we hook up, boot up the PlayStation 4 and turn on play, uh, Sly Cooper for her to play again. And it's, it's really uh, fun. God, this dude is emote spamming without a good emote spam. We're not going to win this one either. Just letting y'all know. Might need to switch to playing against bots just to make this easier on us. Perhaps. <laughs> well, we're just against all these either really good or really, uh, sh really trash players. Crap. Wait, he thanks. Died water. Yeah, he shoved me into the water and he gave me a thanks for it. This guy's kind of a dick, isn't he? Douche but then again, he's a Rep 70 Warlord. What are you going to do? Um, I would have to say for the first game, uh, the Panda King, the second game, Rajan, or maybe, uh, Contesta, 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 yeah. No, no, uh, the Buffalo guy, whatever his name is. And the third one, oh, God, um, I would probably have to say the Black Baron. I think it was his name. Yeah, I think that. Um, maybe that was it. God, is yeah, this I'm torture? Not... It is torture. This is a very bad match, and this is a very toxic team we're up against. Hannah, what's your opinion on the hell of a boss slash has in a hotel? I mean, I, I will give the creator this. I can't remember her name. Busy Pop, that was it. So she, when it comes to character designs, it, she does an amazing job. But story-wise, it's basically just all smut, and it just gets boring after a while. And the fact of, like, you know, since this is hell, all the characters are just unlikable pricks, so there's nothing to really want, make me want to keep watching. I will say, though, like, out of all the characters, Alistair was probably, like, my favorite, because I did like his design. And I did like his personality as as well as the way he looked at Charlie's plan of what she wanted to do. I mean, he pretty much just said, like, yeah, this is what you're wanting to do. Here's the reality of it. It's not going to work. But I'm interested enough just to see you fail. That's about it. Yeah, after this, we'll probably just play the bots because this is very toxic, guys. After this, uh, with Hannah, I agree with you. Uh, after this, do you think we could pull out and like get me and uh, I'll turn on my PS4 and I'll get the PlayStation chat so they can hear me a little bit better when I ask questions? What was the question? 
Can I jump onto the PlayStation party so I can uh, so they can better hear me? I'll use my headset. Okay, we'll do that after this. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Hannah, what's your favorite Sabaton song? Oh man, um, Resistant Bite. That's my favorite. Resistant Bite. That's actually yeah. a really good one. Yeah, I they want to know what they want to know what chips you're eating. Oh, so I got Jimmy John's, and it's the thinny chips. I usually get barbecue ones, but I decided to go with thinny chips. Yeah, it's 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 thin chips, but basically it's like it's just regular. It's just in a different bag. Yeah, uh, uh, sanctified with dynamite and power will strong. Uh, thanks, 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 thanks. Wow. Okay, guys, you're good. He is very salty. Holy crap! All right, dude, you won. I'm proud of you. I'm sure your uncle does too. Now your mom and dad aren't home to raise you. God. <laughs> now be a sport and get daddy another beer, would ya? <laughs> be a sport and get uncle another beer. It's not daddy. Daddy walked out a long time ago. He's, he's still getting milk, okay? Hey Raven, do you think good will win over evil one day? Absolutely. Hey, Raven, is your group full? Oh, we're not adding anyone because we're already stretching the um, uh, thing to its limit by having it hand on with the uh, screen sharing and stuff. And I'm about to add Nate. All right, and I'm about to add uh, Lark to the chat, so give me a second. Is your PlayStation on, Lark? It will be. Okay, then I need to give you a minute. While we're waiting on Lark, uh, go ahead and ask your questions. I think it's funny, Hannah. Like, okay, let me ask you a question, Hannah. They sent two dollars for you to draw a certain clay or image. How much money would they have to send to actually get you to do it? Like, how much money would you actually have to get to be like, all right, yeah, I'll do this? <laughs> well, the first, the one question I like to ask is, um, how much you guys are willing to pay? That's the question, isn't it? Hey, you guys, the gauntlet has been thrown. How much are you willing to give to uh, see Hannah do a clay or image of your choice? That's the question. <laughs> Things are about to get spicy. Like there are no limits, except there are limits. There are no limits, except for the limit I'm about to make. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Five cents in a Papa John's order. Oh, oh. Oh man, that mm. is that's tempting. That is that tempting. Is, that is tempting, but I just had pizza a couple of days ago, so. One th oh, brother Lorcal pointed out. He said I paid forty bucks for my Legion Primark OC. There you go. Oh uh, yes, that's right. I no, I'll, I'll I'll invite you. I'll invite you, Lark. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. For all right, let me go ahead and uh, add you. Do I hear the crickets on your guys' end, or is it my end? No, that's just the clicking. Now I hear All bugs. Right. You shouldn't. I think. All right, you've been invited. Okay, okay, I discovered it's on my end. I'm, I'm hearing the crickets. It's on your end, okay. Yes, I'm hearing the crickets. So, L L L Lark, you good? Uh, I haven't gotten the invite yet. I just sent it to you. Are you kidding? Hold on. Now, did you get it? Did you get it? There you go. Oh, yep, there he is. All right, can you hear us? Okay, awesome, awesome. 
All right, let's get back into it and let's play the bots. I'm not in the mood for uh, playing people right now. <clears throat> Understandable. People can be unlikable. Have you ever met people? Disgusting. Hey, I Raven Lord just dropped out of my D&D &D session. What did I miss? Oh, glad you're here. Nothing much. All right, let's see. Let's go. How do you draw a straight line? How do you do it, Anna? Uh, it's easy. You pray. <laughs> Anna, what do you think of One Piece? I like One Piece. Uh, Raven here is the one that got me into it. And uh, I think what really helped is the fact he told me which episodes to skip. Uh, Fabian... Maybe I'm a boss of just uh, five bucks saying, hey, Hannah, hey, Raven, hey, Lord. Hey, Hannah, if uh, I ask for a request, how much would you charge for an Andy Drago new show? Willing to actually pay. Back to the five bucks, Hannah. Uh, well, that would depend on if you're wanting to do a chibi, a bust, or a full body. A chibi yeah, she charges and... differently. Yeah. Um, let me think. So, if I remember, chibi is $10.00. <clears throat> bus, which is basically head to waist, is twenty dollars, and then full body is thirty dollars. Yep. Raven, your stream is curing me for reading disturbing f story of Fox giving money to Satanic Temple. What? Fox what? What? What is that? I have no idea what that means. Something about foxes and giving Satanic Temple. I find it most unorthodox. Go the Orthodox and put up with that. Right, back in charge. All right, let's Crap, I thought I could parry that. You thought wrong? Uh, Beth would like you to play Ruth next round. Ruth? Sure, I can do Ruth. Oh, Fox News giving money to the same thing. Fox News is giving money to Satanic Temples? What? That, that, that's disturbing, Ozzy. My one concern with the new hero is that the unique executions appear to have bad stats. Oh, because they're slow? I mean, it's on whose executions are slow, too. Yeah. Well, at least he got the death whistle. So $90 for three characters? If you're going to do it, though. What was the question? Just they're clarifying prices for Hannah's connections. <clears throat> I remember seeing one guy on Reddit get a boat spammed by a bot. That is weird. I, I have been a boat spammed by a bot before. Hannah, Raven, and Lark, what is your favorite uh, animated movie? Uh, like any animated movie, any. or like oh, any. any, okay. Um, oh god. Um, well, there is one. It's not my particular favorite, but it has left a very great memory that I will forever hold dear. Grave of the Fireflies. And what I mean by that is, I tricked my sister into watching it and told her that it ended with a happy ending. You're cruel. It was great. That's like watching Full Metal Alchemist and pointing at the little girl and the dog saying they have a very close relationship. Keep an eye on it. Oh, come on. They were inseparable. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> she was at the head they were. Oh, um, they like for uh, Hannah. They like for just drop 50 bucks. Here's 50 bucks. Hannah, can you draw a raven as a dragonborn or a centaur? Or better yet, one of the goblin races. Take your pick in any D&D race you wish. We just got... You, okay, so, okay, so you just got paid $50, and I'll, and I'll send it to you later, um, to draw me as... Uh, what was it, what were they again? A dragon or a centaur or one of the goblin races. So you mean like from D&D? &D? Mm-hmm. So like goblin could be goblin, hobgoblin, that sort of thing. Well, she's already drawn me as a centaur, so that's kind of off the table. Then there's Dragonborn, and then there's Goblin or Hobgoblin. Well, I mean, what do you think, Hannah? Wait, 
did Lark just say goblin? Goblin. Oh. <laughs> the only good goblin is a dead goblin. Let's make these goblins good. Oh, I'm trying to develop just drop two bucks saying, here's a bit, uh, a bit of more money. Uh, and again, love your stream. Hey, dude, thanks. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yes, but now Hannah has some deciding to do. We'll have to post it, uh, whatever she draws on Discord. You, know, the, uh, you don't have to decide which one you do. It, it, you don't even have to decide if you do it, although that is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. He is paying it. Indeed. And Green does talk. Green does so. Just look at little green. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> little green. Say my name. Little green. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, it's Dende. <laughs> say, de say, say Dende, Dende. Now say, please help me, Dende. Please help me, Dende. Well, since you since you asked so nicely, mm, now, come, the one ba thing, come back, the one, magic man. The one thing we can learn from Dende is the fact of nobody fucks with the white mage. As a uh, former... Uh, what was the last shield hero? Afira. Literally the last hero we got. <laughs> I love how you're like, when was the last shield hero we got? Afira. <laughs> I'm sure you were kind of trying to make a point there. Like, like, dude, we need a shield hero. We haven't had one in so long. And I'm like, the last one. <laughs> well, he, said shield. He, he said shield hero, right? Yeah, shield hero. I would say now Fumi, but I think that'd probably be going a little too dark. <laughs> oh, God, Hannah, don't. And prior to the feet, just drop two bucks where he says Ligma. No. Never, no. No. He dropped two no, bucks, no. so I will say he has been diagnosed with Ligma, and it's quite sad. Bummer. Have you seen that little thing where it's like watch when it's like it's so sad Steve Jobs died of Ligma? Who the hell is Steve Jobs like my balls? Fair enough, I forgot. <laughs> no, no, I I understand, I, Virus. I, I understand what you were trying to say. I just thought that was funny because you were what you said. I thought was very funny considering the context. Who is Steve Jobs? He was the creator of. Um, I think he's referencing the meme I just made. Oh. Ligma balls. I'll, I'll show you the video after the stream. Biden, what is global warming now? <laughs> Declare war on the side. <laughs> I would say I'd respect Biden more if he sounded like super copy goober. By the way, um, okay, so on Discord, I asked not long ago because uh, I didn't get to see Havoc or Slanderous's uh, live stream of the um, new hero. People have told me about Slanderous for the most part. Uh, I got to watch Havoc, so now I know what he thinks. It has become so weird to me, the difference in how Havoc, me, and Slanderous look at things. Um, I'm genuinely surprised. Different people with different opinions. Oh, yes. It's never been done before. It, not that it shouldn't be done. It's like, uh -huh. yeah. Impossible. What do you think of Faram? Faram, I know a little about him, but not much. I think that he's very talented. Raven, I wish you were a writer who knew something because you would fix the lore. We all wish that. Uh, yeah, we all wish that. <laughs> when your shield gets small enough to fit in your hand, my brain doesn't register it as a real. Uh, so you don't register gladiators, buckler as real? That's how we get swamp buckler's. Hey everyone, what was the dumbest depiction of Rome you've ever seen in media? You know, that's a good question. See, I, typically, when I watch something Roman, I try and make sure it's good. Like, uh, BBC's Rome was pretty good. Uh, Monty Python's Rome was pretty good. Yeah, and, but it was dumb. <laughs> hey, Raven and Hannah, 
menace and grin, quote Uncle Ruckus. Now, see, you asked the wrong people. If anyone's going to quote Uncle Ruckus, it's going to be Lark. Uh, Lark. If I do, I'll probably get the stream demonetized and get us a copyright strike or something. Who's Uncle Ruckus again? He's a character from the Boondocks. He's the one who is unapologetically oh. racist to black people. Wait, is he the one that has that... Uh, is he the one that has that bulging eye? Yes, yeah. that is him. Ah, okay, now I remember. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll do Ruth next. May the great white God bless and keep you. <laughs> what about Mel Brooks' History of the World Part 1 Rome? I like it. I'm not 100% accurate. Every single Roman town had B. Arthur managing a welfare line. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, okay. Hey, Raven, are you going to do a smash or pass in For Honor? I feel like I kind of already did that by talking about uh, best boys and best girls in For Honor. Didn't I already do that? Uh, yeah, you did, but you didn't talk about your own personal. I, no, I did at the end of each one. I said which one I personally thought was best. Like, yeah, for the girls, but... I said that it was a toss-up between Nobushi and Peacekeeper. And for the men, I said I'm not really attracted to men, but if I had to pick one, probably go with Lawbringer. Well, you got Anna, yeah, Anna, but... Name? But we have new heroes now, so you have more to add. That is true. We've got a new male. Do, would I even count the Aztec amongst them? I mean, some people have a kink for that, so... I mean, I mean, I'll need to think about it. You know what they say about Aztecs? They know how to get right to your heart. I do have to do non-gender locked <laughs> heroes. I, I mean, people keep telling me I need to do the non-gender locked heroes. I need to decide how I approach that. By the way, guys, I know Havoc isn't here, but y'all need to see his video dedicated to Ruth. It is so good. Yep. I approve the first one. Horrible's History is a take on Rome 120. I, I definitely typically approve what Horrible History does. I remember reading their books back in the day. I mean, Aztec is on the male level of Shaman. I feel like Aztec is more composed. I thought it was Ward Max Nova. I mean, that is our most popular show. I managed to kill this guy. Yay! Hey, Raven and friends, how would you feel about uh, a hero that only uses their fists and is fully armored up? Not a knight. They gotta be Muay. They gotta be Muay Thai. They gotta be Muay Thai fighters. Nah, Muay Baron. Yeah, that'd be definitely more deadly. How much Baron is there? Muay. Moy Baron. Aztecs actually base, so they're, subs they're substantially clean in terms of shaman. I oh. believe you were talking about like, you know, motifs and stuff, but yes, definitely. Nobu is an adorable little butterfly. Oh, by the way, guys, did you hear the news? I've officially got a hate, like two haters now. Like in just one video, I've gotten two official haters. Oh, man, you're moving up in the world. I know. I feel so good about it. At the first, I was very annoyed because they had no real reason to hate me. I even asked, why do you hate me, dude? I don't even know who you are, and I don't think I've ever said anything to you directly. But uh, he never he never answered my question. I, I, I asked him, what did I do or say to you again? Um, but he just kept repeating his hate for me, and I'm like, dude... Mm. Well, you know what they say. Hater's gonna hate, fish gonna swim. He is gonna hate. Yeah. Listen for the non-gender lock. What you need to do is two videos. One is a female version, the other is male. That way you get uh, the nuance of each gender. I like the way you think there. You get the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. Hey, Raven, walk after the D&D session. We now have a bird with a gun. Our king two rogue bottom He's a character with a best friend and meant to be a cool human go. Two official haters, government taxpayer funded sanctioned despite. No! You couldn't get a hater, so the taxpayers had to provide you. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't say anything about my Christianity. He doesn't hate me because I'm a Christian. He's hating me because. Okay, he basically got on me because during the stream I said I think it would be cool if one of the executions the Aztec has 
is um, the heart ripping out uh, sacrifice execution because I thought that would be creative. He's arguing you don't know anything about the Aztecs. Otherwise, you know that the Jaguar warriors weren't the ones who did that. It was only the priests who did that. You clearly don't know anything about the Aztecs or the Jaguars. And I'm like, I, I didn't say that they had to have that or that I necessarily wanted it. I just said that I thought it would be a cool yeah, idea. But... And, and Hold on. I'll, I'll, let me finish. And then because okay, okay. there's more to it. More, he said more. That's the thing. Um, when I tried to say this. Uh, he was like, oh, so you admit that you're willfully ignorant just because an execution looks cool? You're pathetic. And I'm like, dude, I don't know what I did to you or why you hate me, but if you only follow my content, because he ragged on my heroes and history videos too. I'm like, so you clearly know my content. It's like, you follow me, but you hate me, and I don't know why. You you seem like the pathetic one, dude. I mean, generally, I don't like a content creator typically trying to avoid their stuff unless they're like drove like someone to take respond to this. It's very peculiar. But also it's weird, it's like, oh, and it's the first, and if you think of, uh, when you think of Aztec, you think of human sacrifice, you could, you don't know anything. And I'm like, dude, that it, they did do that considering that part of their religion was literally sacrificing people so that the sun could keep moving. I think it's fair for people to go, oh yeah, the people can sacrifice people. I, I don't get it. And then the other guy was like crazy, like he would just crawl around the comment section and then, like, try and find people to agree with to agree with this hatred of you. I'm like, dude, tell them how. And it would be one thing if like, you just did it once, but he kept coming back over time. It's weird. Yeah, by that point, it's like, dude, it's not worth it. Just, just not. It's not worth it for your dignity. What level of bots are they? They parried me, so they're bot threes. Yeah, right there, it's about three. So you can always tell a bot by what it does to you. A bot one won't parry you. They won't activate revenge, and they'll only throw around a, f a bunch of heavies with a few lights, with very few mix-ups. Bot twos are a little smarter. They will activate revenge. They'll block you more frequently, but they'll never parry you if they can avoid it. Bot threes will do everything under the sun to make your life a living hell. Yep. I can't believe when you think about the Roman Empire, you think about the legionaries. Well, here's the thing. I'm not saying, and I have never said, that the only aspect of the Aztec Empire and their culture was sacrifice. But it is a large part of their culture that is documented and known. Therefore, I think it should be mentioned. And my issue, like, here's the thing. I don't care if they add an execution where they rip out the heart or not. I think it'd be neat. But I'm not saying we need to have it. But apparently, I can't win with this guy. If I say, yeah, I want that, oh, you're, you just want things that are historically inaccurate. But if I say, I don't, want, I don't necessarily want that, uh, I just think it'd be cool if they did. Well, you're, you're still just a pathetic loser who doesn't know anything. I'm sure he's responded to me again. He seems like the type. Oh, my heavenly soul, the digital monsters are evil war crimes. So they would capture them using their weapons and they had to sacrifice them at the Temple Pyramids. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. That's, uh, that's part of the reason why they use the Maka Wheel or the Maquit. Because uh, it, like, it would have a lower chance of actually killing rather than just, like, it would just incapacitate that way they could drag them off. And the priest would go, all right, let's keep this sun thing moving. How dare you imagine Jesus when you think about Jesus? So anyway, if you got more questions for us, throw them our way. We'd love to hear them. I mean, Hannah's still here. Yeah. Bot one, dumb robot. Bot two, good training partner. Bot three, Skynet experiment in progress. Uh, it, 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 it would be like that. Yeah, also, one of them was carrying an obsidian knife on his armor. Ooh. Cool. Using for sacrifices, maybe? Mm. She, did she shoot herself? She shot us both. Oh, Brutal Games just dropped 20 bucks. Saying, hey, Ray, this is a question for everyone here. How would you feel about it if they gave the Aztec a bleed mechanic with his stealth stance, almost like Shaman or like him sacrificing something off that might help himself? I mean, that'd be cool. I don't mind it. I actually expected him to have a bleed attack. I don't mind that he doesn't. But I think he's cool the way he is. What do you think, Hannah? Yes. <laughs> but more to the point of the fact was, uh, me and Ray were actually talking about this uh, earlier. 
I thought it would be cool if like some of his feats like actually revolved around like next one. Maybe for, like a final feat, like if you execute a uh, an enemy, it might provide sort of like each tree it provides buffs for other people around. I think that would be a good feat for him to have. Because it, it wouldn't play into it, but he wouldn't actually do necessarily the heartful sacrifice thing. That's the best one. Oh, Aaron's here. Hey Aaron. Hannah, say hi to Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Yeah, we got Hannah on here, Aaron. Life goals, man. Life life goals. Hey, look, why did the Isaac get so much attention regarding sacrifice and everyone in Mesoamerica practice it? The thing is, like, the Aztecs did it just in large quantities. Because the Mayans, they typically sacrifice things other than humans. They would be human sacrifice, but it's very rare. Like, for example, you might have the Mayans sacrifice a guy once a month, and typically that's a chief they captured in battle. The Aztecs believed that they just kept on sacrificing to such a point, it got absurd. And it makes sense when you think, like, in the religion they believe if they stop, the sun would stop. So I get why they did it. I disagree with it, but I get why they did it. But that's why the Aztecs got to it. Not to mention, they had the misfortune of being the biggest guy in Mesoamerica when the Spanish roll in. And so they were the, they were the most prominent ones doing human sacrifice at the time. The way to think about... Um... Hold on. Dylan, holy crap. Bro sounds like an A meeting. Take that as a compliment. <clears throat> Get in the fire. Um, as I was saying, uh, the thing to keep in mind about the Aztecs, and one of the things people were saying, they couldn't make them do human sacrifices because that would um, upset people. It would offend them. Not if you handle it right. I mean, all you have to do is demonstrate the nobility of it. You have to demonstrate the noble facets of it. Just demonstrate the why. Give context for it. I mean, we saw the Vikings do human sacrifice in year five, in year five season three. And we saw um, Shaman do a cutting open the chest, rip out your heart thing in one of her executions. So I don't think that's the issue. I think you can do it while still not upsetting people. And besides, I think, that, here's the thing. We need to accept what history is. If there's actually a person out there who says, my ancestors were Aztecs and I take offense at you saying that they were just mindless human sacrificing savages, my response is, they did commit human sacrifice. That's not debatable. Oh, only, that's, that's Spanish propaganda. We have physical evidence that shows that they did it. They, they, they were quite proud of themselves. They carved pictures of it. Oh, before we go into the next one, Hannah, you're... Um, Screen share yeah, yeah, is about to wear off. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna log you off and then give you another hour, okay? All right, sounds good. Give me, give me just a second. We gotta help Hannah out because she's watching the screen on her end. Yeah. And I gotta give her another shot. So give us <laughs> a second. All right. Resending it. Yeah, Lord Cardin is gonna make a shell. <laughs> you see for us in case we are one player down. Are there any races or any bar subclass ideas you would suggest? I don't know for. All right, you back in, Hannah? I am back in. Excellent. Anyway, uh, what are they saying right now, Lark? I don't ask a question. I need to be real quick. Ow, is that in the deep? You don't know anything. Pass here on the head. That's adorable. Oh, you're taking something. The thing is, Ray and I think that our society has become far too sensitive regarding uh, history. Yes. I think, here's the thing, and... Lark, you'd probably be able to talk on this a great deal, too, but I'll answer this as best I can. I think one of the problems we have right now is society... How do I say this? Society has just become so afraid of our past because the past tells a story that they don't want to hear. The past tells us we came from violent roots. We did bad things to each other. We suffered greatly and did terrible things to each other while suffering. And we live in a society that wants to say there's no such thing as suffering. People only suffer when they're religious or when they're in a capitalist society or when they think differently than me. People aren't inherently evil. No one, all cultures are just as valid as the other. They don't want to hear that some cultures needed to fall away. While I'm not saying we shouldn't study them or understand them, some cultures needed to die out. 
They don't want to hear that some of the atrocities of the world had context. They don't want to hear that the big bad boogeyman that we tell ourselves didn't exist actually did exist. And they don't want to think that the consequences of their actions could one day um, lead to their downfall or destruction. They want to believe that everything is happy. We all live in a very happy place. We're all good people. And if anything bad happens, there's an obvious modern day thing we can blame it on. By looking at actual history, they have to acknowledge that there's a bad part to it. When you look at the Aztecs, people want to say, yeah, those are my ancestors. They represent Mexica, Mexican history, Mesoamerican history. That's my people. Yeah, they're, they're really cool. And the Spanish mistreated us. They did horrible things to us. That's why we are victims and we deserve your respect. Oh, yeah. I mean, they definitely did bad stuff. But, I mean, y'all also did bad stuff. You also sacrificed humans. Wait, don't, don't, that's Spanish propaganda. That didn't happen. You also were known to cannibalize people as well. That, that is such propaganda. That didn't actually happen. No, we have documentation that says you clearly did. No, stop it, you Western imperialist bigot. And so people are afraid of history. That's why history constantly gets retconned, why people want to erase history, because they don't want to hear the truth. Yeah, but to, I mean, to erase history is meaning that you're going to forget about it and it's going to be repeated again. Yep. I mean, it's the same thing when your mommy tells you, don't touch the stove, it's, it's hot. And as children, we do do it anyway. But then we remember the pain, and thus we don't do it again because we remember. I'm going to do it again. Maybe I'll have a different reaction. Did I ever tell you the definition of, of insanity? insanity? No, Hold on. Let's play hot potato. Catch. <laughs> Throw it back. <laughs> catch, catch. Man, you're bad at this Aww. game. <laughs> Loser. Wait, hold on. Now that the Aztecs have officially crossed over and the Conquistas are losing their role to come back, does that now mean in war we can have potatoes and beef more now? We have potatoes? Potato. Boil a mash em, stick em in a stew. Boil a mash em, stick em in a stew. Boil a mash em, stick em in a stew. Boil a mash em, stick em in a stew. I should sing you that potato song from Gumball. That was pretty funny. Small fallout channel celebrating saying July 4th is racist and non white should not celebrate it for its truth. Raven and Lark, what do you guys think about xenomorphs? They're cool. I prefer the alien player that Hannah drew. Uh, oh, sorry, yes, I, I did do that. I did that, yes. That, it did. was so cool, though. It was such a cool picture, though. I love yes. that. I mean, yeah, I, I think it turned, out pre it turned out pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, LP, you're right. History does not need to be forgotten or washed down. It needs to be studied and understood so that we don't repeat the mistakes of the past. Uh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, because one guy, like, powered, like, his game or something off of, uh, potatoes, and so people played Doom. Question, what is the best way to do with hate or negative comments on a video, art piece, or any project you've done? Do what I, don't do what I do. Do not do what I do. I often go in and I debate them, and that's not a good idea, because if you sink to the level of haters, you, 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 they will beat you at your, they will beat you at their own game, Okay. Be better than them. Either ignore them or ask them a simple question that they fail to answer. Like, one question that I always ask is if they say, you just, like, I get this a lot. Like, um, in my One Piece video where I was responding to Wisecracked, the question that I asked was, they always say the same thing. You clearly don't understand One Piece. And I always say the same thing. What did I get wrong? Because now the Otis is on them. They have to tell me what I'm wrong about. You'll notice that these people who I ask never actually answer. And sometimes they uh, will give you long responses with their little, because one time he was just like, I remember like one guy, like, I think he was commenting on a railroad video, and he said, like, like oh, aside from this, the video was like trash, and he said, okay, what, what did Mark get wrong? 
Five months later, he responds with a soliloquy, and I have to go through. And so I'm going, okay, let's discuss. Raven, can you talk more about using history right fiction that you kind of mentioned in the Warrior Gen? Um, I did bring that up. I forget exactly what it was I said. What What was the context of that conversation? Uh, just saying that might be a good uh, writing room. Well, I'm still in the process of moving a lot of my writing room stuff, so I'm not sure if I want to make a new one just yet. Hey, Raven, when are they going to give Shugoki a minigun? Someday. <laughs> uh, they did. Didn't, haven't you played Team Fortress 2? Maybe they'll do it somewhere. They'll do it someday. Somewhere. Over the rainbow, bluebirds fly. If bluebirds fly over the rainbow, why then oh why can't I? I honestly hate the ukulele version of that song. I hate ukulele in general. I mean, it's not that great of an instrument. It's it's. I call it the hippie instrument because it's what teenagers and college students play to sound hip plus it's also the official uh instrument of uh steven universe and that just haunts me shinobi please don't beat me what if all uh honor heroes have guns then be rainbow six yeah, pretty much. Bluebirds get shot down by Chairman Mao. That's really. Oh, the that reminds me. Sky. You this know, so. <laughs> so you know, like after we do the. Um, oh, LP, LP, referencing a great song. I see trees are green, red roses too. I see them blue. For me and you, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I remember as a kid, we would have VHS tapes that would always like start out like this trailer of him singing that, and then suddenly the world would explode. Okay, Jedi, when you say Smoker National Anthem, I, my first thought was go oh, Smoker from One Piece and just picture him <laughs> singing that. <laughs> Tashigi, I feel the need to sing. Please don't do it, Captain Smoker. No, it is welling up inside <laughs> no, me. No, I have to do this. No, 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 <laughs> we'll no, call no, it no. Smoky Blues. No. no God damn no. it. Nope. <laughs> um, but yeah, someone said earlier, I saw this in chat, but I didn't get the chance to reply to it. Someone was saying that um, didn't uh, the Vizzy Pop, didn't she discredit that guy who made Five Nights at Freddy? Yeah, or something? Yeah. Scott Coffin, I, uh, I can't help but think, isn't that kind of funny? I'm kind of like, he made good quality content. You're making something that hipsters run to to say they like. To be fair, there are hipsters that run to Freddy Fazbear too. That is, that is fair. Not for the right reasons, mind you. That is fair. All right, we're switching over to Breach now. It's Breach time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, who to play? Um, who to play? Who to play? Who to play? Oh, who to I play? Who to play? I okay, pick. Hannah, you pick. Who am I playing? I get to pick. Okay. Um, it can't. It can't be someone I've already played. Okay. Who's your least uh, least favorite hero? Um, I like to play all of them, but the hardest ones for me are Shinobi, Kyoshin, and uh, Nutsha. Those are the three that are hardest to play. Mm, I see I Shinobi. Shinobi. All right, we'll go, we'll go Shinobi. This is my ninja, my ninja way. This is my ninja, my ninja way. I'll take Hasbin, Hasbin or Hell of a Boss over five nights at what? At Jumbo. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay, <laughs> the jump scare. I said Vivzy Pop celebrated the doxing of Scott Cawthorn, that she, then she got doxed by the same doxer that doxed Scott. Ha! <laughs> 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 Sorry. Kind of karma right there. No, that is karma. Uh, Raven or Hannah, do you know how to play an instrument? Uh, I know how to play the guitar a little. I wanted to play an instrument, but Dad said no. She wanted to play an instrument, but then she took an arrow to the knee. Yes. 
Yes, let's go with that. If, if an arrow is father, then yes. Father just came careening towards the knee. <laughs> Honestly, the fast route was Hogwarts Legacy before Hogwarts Legacy fair. fair. Oh, I forgot you had that game. Did you ever finish it? Yes. Yeah, I beat it. It was awesome. Oh, okay. what, what, what an ending. What an ending. That was such a good game. I've heard they're going to make a sequel. I pray they do. Please do. If it's anything like the first game, I effing loved it. <laughs> well, you know what I love about that? People, people, even the wine guy were making big deals about, you're getting to use the unforgivable curses. That's so terrible. I'm like, yes, the unforgivable curses are unforgivable and evil and so wrong. But turning a guy into a chicken, completely obliterating them into nothing and dropping <laughs> giant exploding barrels on their head, that's totally fine. That's all right. That's fine. Nice guy. Aren't you the one that advocated for people to go and attack the U.S. Coast Guard? So, what are you saying? I know. Hey, uh, Hannah's Hannah's favorite hero in For Honor is Peacekeeper. PK. Hey, Raven, what's your opinion on Shinobi's new look? I think it looks awesome. Oh, it looks so good. I love Shinobi's look. Didn't didn't Slander say he liked the Shinobi's looks too? Like even Slanderous had to admit it. Come on, like. Yeah, on. Gracie agreed. Gracie's exactly right. No, she doesn't, she doesn't know what she's agreeing to. She's a cat. That you know. Uh, yeah, Shinobi got know. a new look. Yeah, Shinobi has a new look coming out. He got uh, four new armor sets. Uh, uh, like yeah, Hannah, Hannah's cat is nearby. I like White Tail Dragon. I hear cat. Uh, what faction is your favorite, Hannah? Favorite. Mm. Which one's your favorite? What was that? <laughs> favorite what's your favorite faction oh i see yes no no like knights samurai vikings wulin or outlanders yes ah uh, she's not gonna answer guys yes hey, Raven, when will they give lawbreakers a nuclear launch goes he already has them he just is elected not to use them Ooh, i styled on this warden your cat is off my dog probably <laughs> Where is Cap? I hear Cap, but do not see Cap. Speaking of slanderous, <laughs> I saw his new vid and he said he did like the moveset. Do you agree? Yeah, I like the moveset. Wait, I thought that his whole issue was he didn't like the moveset. He changed his mind. I, I thought that he hated it. I thought that he said that this killed the game. That that was the name of his stream. It's over. I thought Anthony that he hated it. it. Anthony gets it. He knows why I answered that. Impossible. Impossible. It can't be done. For honor map based on naval battle, like a bunch of triremes boarding and settle, that would be a good idea. But for some reason, they're allergic to maps. Do you think it's more fun, enjoyable to play AI or people? I like playing both. But here's the thing: if the people are to too toxic and I'm not in a good mood, playing AI is more relaxing. The, the, like that that's the positive with ai it's more relaxed and chill but you may get bored quicker playing against people you almost never get bored because you're always up against really smart people or creative fighters but you may run into those toxic people and that can be rough yeah yeah i mean honestly i'd rather play with friends yep because then that way it's like you can have your shenanigans and have a good laugh out of it Raven, what do you think of Escanor from Seven Deadly Sins? He's okay. I prefer All Might. Who decided that? I like Escanor. He was probably one of the, like, I think I just stopped watching after I saw Escanor's, like, big scenes. I was like, okay, that's what I think, too. Because, honestly, if I heard Sir Meliodas one more time, I'm going to start airing out bodies. Sir Meliodas? You son of a... Yeah, 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 I just did not like Seven Deadly Sins that much. It was fine. I didn't hate it or anything, but... I kind of prefer the Seven Deadly Smucks. There you go. That's fair. And, but One Piece is just better to me. Well, I don't know if I should ask this, Raven. Uh, I, I got a good question here. I don't know if I should ask this, but Raven, how do you have fun on For Honor? Genuinely, I can't answer that because everyone's way of having fun is going to be different. The you reason I have fun, the reason I have fun is because number one, 
It scratches every itch. I love history. This game has historical warriors. I love fighting games. This game has fighting. And I love um, storytelling and lore and fantasy. And this lore has a lot of all that. So I absolutely love what this game has to offer. Um, And so I try to find the good in it. I've loved it since launch, um, despite all the bad that it's had. Because it's had some bad. I'm not going to pretend like it doesn't. But I think that um, one way to help yourself is to take it easy. Like, that is one thing I've had to learn about this game. Don't stress. Take it easy. You cannot overstress about it. If the people you're fighting are toxic, leave and go play the bots. Just relax a little. If you're having trouble figuring out a hero, play Breach a bunch of times until you get the hang of it. If you're not having fun dueling, go against teams. If you want to bring, if you feel like you're bored doing it alone, bring on friends. I really think it's the experience you have to make it. So that's my answer to that. Yeah. That's one heck of a question. The answer must go back. The fall of the Roman Empire. <laughs> let, let me start at the beginning. The world was once a molten mass. <laughs> you mean California? <laughs> <laughs> yes. What, what do you think of Gears of War E-Day style invasion, but with a Skaven instead of a Locust? Is, is that not like a plot of Vermintide and Vermintide 2? I mean, I'm all for it. Warp 7, yes, yes. Oh, I've seen people play Factory. I'm not getting sucked, sucked into that. Anna, what's your favorite superhero? Uh, I can't really say. Um, maybe if I'm just gonna shoot in the dark, I probably have to say Spider-Man since. Well, when I was six, my dad had tricked, quote unquote, me and my siblings to go watch the Spider-Man movie, the one with the uh, Tobey Maguire. And I, I liked it. I liked it. So I, I guess I would probably have to say Spider Man. Spider Man. Hey, Spider Man's a solid option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Spider Man. No, it's Spider Pig. Spider Pig. Big spider, spider Pig. pig. Does, does whatever, whatever a spider, a spider pig. pig does. Can he, Can swing, he swing from a web? From no, he can't. No, can't. He's a pig. He's a Look out. He's he a spider is a Spider Pig. pig. I personally don't play this game competitively. I consider myself to be a casual player. Oh, I'm same. Not I feel you there, dude. Dude, I'm totally there with you. I am not a competitive player. I am not. That's why I admire people like Havoc. Guy, I love Havoc because he's just the kind of guy who can play this game. And he's a god of Wardens, okay? I've never seen anyone play Warden quite like him. Like, I love the way he plays Warden. So, seeing him play Ruth, I was like, oh my god, Ruth, she's finally getting a Havoc treatment. And yes, I will write a part two to uh, uh, Havoc story that I wrote. Guess she gonna be pretty ruthless. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. What if Ray? What if medieval Europe discovered the Americas? Um, they all they they did, but didn't. Like the Vikings were one. Yeah. Uh, I would say play medieval two and uh, answer the question for yourself. Genuinely, uh, that's one of the benefits of the Crusades, actually. The Crusades helped prepare Europe for the um, Age of Discovery, so... No joke there, like, one of my, like, when I took classes on Crusades in college, my professor actually, like, her whole doctoral thesis was pointing out how Crusader cities were kind of like blueprints for how a lot of colonial cities would be set up in the following centuries. Oh my gosh, what what a question. Will there be a love scene between Ruth and, uh... They Thor. Oh man. Mm. Will Ruth and him get together? I have not decided if that will be a thing yet. Question of the century. Have we watched a YouTuber named Seth Nietzsche? No. Nope, never heard of him. Until now. Hey Raven, will we see your female Raider legend soon? First I gotta get nibbles done. I don't. Hannah, I have a joke for you. What do you call a magic owl? A Houdini. Ha. 
<laughs> that was kind of you, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> I got one even better. I got one even better. Okay, 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 guys, hear me. Actually, no, two, two. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. This is All right, good. two jokes. All two right, jokes. All right, all right, all right. What is the point of a mosquito? Go ahead. They're say no. it. They're no. Uh. <laughs> all right, all right. Now for the second one. Now for the second one. Okay, okay. What is the difference between a regular squirrel and a squirrel that has rabies? One sick? No. No. One goes nuttier for nuts. Nuttier? One goes nuttier for nuts. <laughs> <laughs> this Good is time. the thing about Hannah. You, you have to deal with her in short bursts. You have to deal with her in small doses. If you, if, if you spend too much time with her, it, it can slowly corrode your brain cells. <laughs> Everyone walked in the bed, meds for my bag are kicking in, nice to meet you, Hannah. Yeah, everyone's just groaning. <laughs> About that time I had. Mission accomplished. <laughs> everyone's just, well, best day on that. <laughs> this is why Jesus was nailed to the damn cross. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, know, you know what? It was, Jesus was not crucified because he was talking blasphemy of the Jews or he was talking against Rome. No, 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 no. It was because he kept telling dad jokes. <laughs> like the Romans, like, you know what? He's innocent, but these jokes gotta stop. I would love the mental of Pontius Pilate. Like, why do you want me to kill him? And he just, and just drops a corny sad joke. Give me the one. Like, 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 you do realize that if you if you confess to these crimes, we will nail you to a cross. Oh man, that sounds like it would. That, that sounds like it'd be a problem for me. But you know, you know, you know, I'd hate to have to hang around. I, and then when he goes, you are testing my patience. Oh, are you a little cross? It's like nail him, nail him to it. And then as they're nailing it to him, I think you, I think I got the point. <laughs> These are absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Baby, about to just drop two bucks. Hey, Hannah, is uh, possible? Is it possible to do a full body of Nutra, please? Uh, I mean, you can commission me for the the image. Yeah, always could do that. Hey, Raven, what happened to your gator? Oh, she's still around. Abigail's still around. I have not done a Viking all night. Let's go Raider. We were just talking about my female Raider. Raider! Raider! I'm Raider. unsubscribing for that one. No! <laughs> Raven and Larkham heading to bed with a headache now. <laughs> Damn it, I'm... They did it! <laughs> That is always my, that is always my daily goal. We've, ru we've ruined tonight. We have so ruined tonight. <laughs> okay, looking at the time, we probably have enough time for two more breach matches, and then that'll have to be it. Because we have an early morning tomorrow. Really? Why? We got an important morning meeting. Uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right, sounds good. Anyway, uh, yes, Hannah does have an Instagram. Yes. Yeah. You are a raider. Legendary. Nah, she's just, we just happened. We're still working on that trade. <laughs> Actually, do you guys believe that I was playing Shadow of War and they wouldn't let me level up my guy by five levels at once because their server couldn't be there? Anyway, how many missions are left in Mass Effect 2? How many missions are left in Mass Effect I have no idea. I haven't been counting. Hey Raven, is your For Honor and Glory series connected to your legends? Some are. Like you'll notice that um, Tian Chi Long, my uh, Zhang Jun from the Legends, he is in uh, For Honor and Glory. Hey uh, Raven, do you have a favorite For Honor YouTuber that you would watch back in the day? Well, that's the thing. Back in the day. There were no good For Honor YouTubers that I could find. There were none that I really enjoyed watching all that much because everyone was so negative about For Honor. So it was very hard. That's why I made my own. Nowadays, my favorite is probably Havoc. Havoc is definitely my favorite to watch. Sometimes I'll watch Freeze because he understands the balancing of the game and the mechanics way better than I do. Um, I used to watch Vita Neon all the time because I thought he was just a stitch, but he hasn't done anything recent for For Honor. Mark, 
Marco Yolo we would watch for similar reasons. But Marco Yolo hasn't made a video for For Honor in a while either. Yeah. Um, lots of people have kind of stopped making videos for For Honor either because they're not interested anymore or they want to go on to other things, which is fine. That's fair. I can't fault people for wanting to move on and do other stuff. That's totally fine. But I'm here for the long haul, baby. Mm -hmm. Zany was fine. Yeah, I like Zany. I like Zany, but he does a lot of other stuff besides just for honor, and I like that he does that. That's why I do that. Like I do other stuff besides for honor. What, what was that one guy who was like a sloth in a tuxedo? Oh yeah, I forget his name, but he was very entertaining. Was like, I'm not sure. uh, Solid Soul, he was okay. How was the soul somewhere? Well, he's the guy with the box for an icon, right? I like him, but. He's a lot like Slanders to me. Uh, I just see way too many people like like who, who just are, get really negative. Like uh, Slanders opened up his video today saying, "I'm I don't want to be the negative for honor guy." I'm like, it's kind of the it's kind of what you've become I though. Understand. The for honor gods chose Slanders. You must be the beacon. You hmm. must be the critic. What happened to Toasty? He just kind of quit. He just kind of quit with the game. I haven't seen him in ages. Yeah, Smotly, Smotly is the smart is the smart ah, guy. I think it's great you branch out more to more things. I love your Dead by Daylight videos. I like doing them too. I love my Dead by Daylight and Rainbow Six Siege videos. To tell you the truth, I'll tell you the truth. Um, my Rainbow Six Siege videos take the longest to do. They really that's why I haven't released a new one since Maestro in a while because they take the longest to get done. My Dead by Daylight ones pretty easy. Those are actually pretty easy to do because all I got to do is. Play them, uh, get a few clips of them using their feet, uh, read their lore, embellish it just a little bit to make it sound good, uh, talk about my thoughts, and that's all there is to it. Pretty easy. The Rainbow Six Siege ones, that's a lot harder because I keep getting killed all the time before I can show off how their guns are used. Some of their lore is so weak, I actually have to build on it myself, which can be very difficult because they don't give me a lot to work with. What do you think about King Misty? King Misty? He's pretty good. I like King Misty fine. Um, I have a question. If you had a big backstory to the story you're writing that you ha that has to be mentioned for the story to make sense, how do you mention it without overwhelming the reader? Uh, that's called expositional writing, and that can be done through natural dialogue or through a foreword or through a... Um, uh, prologue. You can do that in a lot of ways. Um, I feel like, for example, I feel like the prologue to the Lord of the Rings movies that like two or three minutes they took to explain the background of Lord of the Rings, that was a little overwhelming for my dad. He kept kind of going like, are we going to start the story yet? <laughs> um, <laughs> and, on with it. yeah, he, that, that was, that was his reaction to that. Um, so I do feel like that could be a little overwhelming. You need to know your audience and you need to know how you're going to approach it. Uh, I think one way is through dialogue. You could have someone telling a story. I think that's a good way. Um, another way is uh, dropping limited information every now and then. Like, for example, my, one of my stories that I'm working on right now, The Sorceress, I'm having to drop a lot of magical lore and history and explanation throughout the chapters. The key there for me is I want to drop all this information because it's important, but I also want to build on the characters, which can be kind of difficult. Uh, Hannah's actually been helping me a little bit with that. Yes. No, I don't. I show you the chapters I work on sometimes to get your thoughts. Yeah, hey. yeah, you do. Uh, speaking of which, when's the next one? I'm actually working on it, believe it or not. Well, then. Yeah, you want to know what happens next, Hannah? Yeah. Okay, well, Rose shows back up. Remember her? Wait, no, you can't tell the audience. Then they'll get to know. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think any of them have read the story, so I don't think it matters. It's all mine. Mine, I tell you. Raven, someone called me a simp for your channel. Who, who said that? I mean, is it true? <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing you, Death. I'm teasing you, Death. Like, uh, like, I once had a person message me and say, I love you, Raven. And I'm like, well, I love you too. But I do feel the need to see other people. Hey, Raven, I'm trying to get into the Lord of the Rings series again, but I don't know where to start. Any advice on where to start? The Hobbit. Great place to start. Yeah, I mean, it's, pretty, it's a pretty small book. Yeah, and it's very fun. Smaller than the others. The story is on DeviantArt, right? Yeah. I mean, Raven's yeah. videos are pretty awesome. Well, thank you, Mr. L. That means a lot. No, you're not a sip for my channel. <laughs> I'm teasing you, Death. I, I, I mean, I'm teasing you. I'm glad you love my channel, though. Hmm. Hey, Raven, I got a 
broader and the last airbender crossover so that they can work. Oh my gosh, really? That'll be interesting. Is there any potential I might bring to the cactus? And it depends on how well you write it. <laughs> I mean, we saw a type of sword play could be in the last airbender. It, it, it can happen. Fell <laughs> off. Tell us. I'm apologizing, Mr. Nancy. Fell off to hurt your dad because he's going back to make the club. He should. Hey, Raven, question. What will you say to someone who wants to write, but their only experience with writing stories is through what's the rest of that? It says through role something? Role play? Oh, yeah, through role play. Uh, that's not too bad. I've written stories through role plays before. Isn't that right, you Hannah? Mean, you mean like scripts? Yeah. Yeah. Raven make incredible stories. Thank you. I will say I don't believe I've seen a For Honor YouTuber do what you do, like the information lore videos and stuff. From what I've seen, the, I can't read the rest. It didn't show up. From what I've seen, that is. Do, re, mi. Sing do, re, mi. Do, re, mi. Do, a, a deer, a female deer. Ray, a drop of golden sun. Me, a name I call myself. Fa, a long, long way to run. Why, that's not what you meant? The Nazis are coming. <laughs> <laughs> the Nazis are coming. <laughs> <laughs> is he like me like the the one just test the tune or the sound of music version sound of music uh, uh hannah what are your thoughts on bluey okay oh <laughs> so, no i was not expecting this okay actually there's nothing i have nothing against bluey my sister and my sister-in-law actually goes on about how good the show is and i've found myself like watching a few clips of it and i like I like the parents. They're incredibly funny. I, I, I mean, I do enjoy the clips I've seen. Uh, you know, it's funny. I've only seen one clip of Bluey, and it was an episode where the father was carrying, like, trying to simulate pregnancy by carrying the, ba <laughs> the baby in, like, a front pouch. And he at yeah. first was making fun of the mom, like, kind of mocking the way she acted. Um, but then as he's going through it, he starts to realize, oh, shoot, you, you actually do deal with a lot of problems. <laughs> did, you, thought, did you see the, did you see parts of it when they asked their, the Bluey asked their neighbors, like, hey, we need you with, we need your help with something. Oh, okay. And he comes over. He's like, this, I wasn't expecting this to be the something. Yeah. Yeah. I saw the coconuts have water in them clip. Yeah, there you go. All right. Yeah, well, I mean, we're going into the, a... we are going into the last match of the night. So oh, if you want to get us rant, yeah, th th these don't last that long, Hannah. <laughs> but it's only been two hours. Yeah, that's how long they usually go. I should have said that in a robotic, uh, ro robotic voice. It's only been two two hours. hours. <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, hold on. This cannot be real. This cannot be. <laughs> Jay sent me something funny. I heard Raven get the change on the phone. Oh, Havoc, I'm so glad you're here. I don't know if you're going to stay long, but I am so glad you're here. Uh, tell you what, if ha Havoc, if you want to pick who I play next, this is the last match of the night, but if you want to pick who I play next, you have 35 seconds. <laughs> It can be anyone you want. It can be Ruth. It can be uh, whoever you want. <laughs> oh my gosh! I can't believe he just dropped in like that. Or Raven can go. Got to be Warden. All right, it's Warden. Um, and I will go. I tried to make your. I tried to make Ultor for you, but I didn't do it right. I'll need to f keep fixing him. I will go Ruth since you made that Ruth video. We will do Ruth for the last patch of the night, but. Okay, so let, let me say this, guys. Since Havoc's here, let me say this. Uh, let me say this. And no, he's not paying me to say this. Um, <laughs> though if a check came in the mail, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be, I, I wouldn't be a miss. <laughs> but let me say this. Okay, 
I, like I said, I made my YouTube video, my YouTube channel because I was sick of all the negativity that Ferrana was getting. I love the, I love the, uh, I, I love the game. I think there's so much about it. Even when it was bad, even when there was a lot of bad stuff, I still loved the game because of what it offered. Havoc is the kind of channel that I wish that I could have been, okay? Because he's very positive about the game. Fair, he's fair. He points out when things are bad. He points out when there's crap. But he's fair to the game. And I loved in his video where he was uh, reacting to the hero trailer where he said, this is, my pro this is the problem. A lot of people don't know that the game is at its best place right now. Um, he also is a lot better at uh, playing than me, but that's a given. Um... I like the fact that he knows more about the game. I like the fact that he's actually a very good Warden player. I am not a good Warden player, as y'all can tell from my playing. Uh, I just... <laughs> when he made his Ruth video, I gushed a little. I, 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 don't, I won't deny that I squealed a little. I was like, oh my gosh, the, the Warden man himself has given Ruth the moment. Uh, I was so happy. So and, the fa and then when Havoc said himself that he was a fan of my work and he liked my stuff, I was just like... This is what I was hoping for. This is like this is what I was hoping for, guys. If you're in my if you're in my chat right now and you're a fan of me and you have not subscribed to Havoc, I've got to ask you two questions. Number one, what are you doing with your life? Number two, why aren't you over there right now giving him a sub? Like you need you need to go over there, give him a sub. He releases consistently, which you gotta love that, and he gives a lot of really good takes. Like he's one of the first ones who pointed out, like, because I couldn't understand, like the news should change, the news should change they made with the Caltrops. I couldn't understand that change. I was kind of like, I don't understand. I don't see why that's a problem. He explained it pretty well. Like so, I was kind of like, oh, and well, I'm still not happy about it because I feel like Nusha needs help more than anything. I still, I still, I get it now. I kind of get where it was coming from. So Havoc brought that up. Oh, Havoc says, Ruth is awesome. I actually was playing very well that day with her. She gave me a power boost. That she did. Although I did notice she had her clumsy moments, Havoc. I noticed that she did have her clumsy moments um, against that shaman. <laughs> Perfect. Otherwise, she'd be a Mary Sue. Um, but yes, yes. I, <laughs> you, you did Ruth so well. And you even used her executions, which I love. And I was so impressed. The attention to detail. <laughs> and St Stephen taught you all those moves. I know, Stephen taught all those moves, obviously. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Had to add some to say true war. Exactly, exactly. It's not that you did anything wrong. You just had to do Ruth right, right? <laughs> Ruth gave Havoc a spiritual power boost. Ruth is in the corner holding her hands up like Hulk making a spirit bomb. <laughs> Gosh, and what Havoc and I need to do, and he, he even said this to me earlier, um, we need to actually chill and do a 4v4 sometime together. Even though he's more of a fan of the dueling aspect, uh, I agree. We need to just chill out, do some uh, 4v4. four v That'd be so awesome. Love to do that with you, Havoc, sometime. Just let me know when. Can't be tonight because this is the last match of the night for me. We've got an, Me and my brother, we've got an early morning tomorrow. So we're going to do this and then log off. Um, Yes, I am. Actually, since you're here, Havoc, awesome moment. Yeah, I'd love to chill with some Fords. We can do some Ocelotl shenanigans. Oh, yeah, dude. We will sacrifice for the gods with Ocelotl. <laughs> I don't, Havoc, I don't know if you saw my vi my recap video, my uh, recap to the Warriors then. Um, uh, lo would love your thoughts on that. But also, uh, while you're here, got a question that the chat's been asking. When I do my next part to the um, Ruth and Ultor video, they're saying that they want Ruth and Ultor to get some shipping going on. They want them to be a. They want them to be a couple. What would you say to that? I'm not saying yes or no to that. I'm just curious about your thoughts. <laughs> they want you did... to ship the sail. Adequately looking for an escape. <laughs> Havoc trying to find a way out. <laughs> I need to go heal. I need to go heal. Oh my god. Oh my I'm not saying I will or won't. I'm just saying that's what people have been saying. Oh my gosh. Uh, when Raven and Lark go to bed, Hannah will take control of the chat and the true attempt to conquer the world will begin. <laughs> yes! Twinkies <laughs> and bunnies. <laughs> I mean, blondes are awesome, so I can't imagine Ultra would say no. I can't imagine that either. <laughs> I can't. I mean, the man pays the reason. Oh. Look, look, Ultra may have turned his back on the Order of the Wardens, but come on, he still has common sense. He's <laughs> a man. He is a man. He knows what he wants. <laughs> I can't even believe we're having this conversation right now. What, what, did, the, what did this stream become? Necessity. 
This is true. Let's Havoc's opinion on fish and chips. What an odd thing to say. What's Havoc's opinions on fish and chips? Is that the question that was just asked? Yeah, I'm not gonna ask. No. Just like, like, Havoc, one of the most famous streamers alive is here. What are we asking? Opinions on fish and chips. <laughs> Well, actually, I, I was kind of curious. Havoc, I don't think I ever heard you say, uh, what, what part of the United Kingdoms are you from? I can tell from your accent you're, you're from there, but I don't know where. I, I, my first guess was Scotland, but I'm not sure if I'm right about that. Like, I, I'm, I'm kind of curious about that. Like, no disrespect wherever you're from. I was just curious. Manchester. You're from Manchester. Oh, okay. Are you, are you united in Manchester? Uh, man, that's, that's kind of cool, though. That's kind of cool. I did not. I, I've never been to the United Kingdom. I have friends who are from the United Kingdom. One's from Ireland. The other uh, is a Scot. One um, is named Havoc. Oh, and now one is named Havoc. So. UTD all the way. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I love it, man. I love it. Oh, uh, but now I now I have an idea of where you're from. Actually, I can't tell through I can't tell through British accents. I had this guy. I was working at Longhorns. I had this guy come in with a very thick British accent, and uh, I kind of wanted to tease him and do kind of a fake British accent myself. Like I just kind of wanted to have fun. Like like, hello, how are you doing today? Welcome to Longhorns. My name is my name is Raven. I would ha be happy to take your order, sir. And he's and he bought it. He thought it was from England. He said, Oh, you're from the UK. And I'm like. What? <laughs> He's like, yeah, like I'm guessing uh, maybe London, and I'm like, no, I, I was I was having fun, sir. He's like, oh, I I, I wasn't sure. And I'm like, did I sound like it? <laughs> How many pints did you have prior, sir? Actually, funny thing, it, no, one time I did try to do like a more Scottish accent, like I walked up to this one guy, because I was a host at the time, and he came in, and he just, and he said, it's going to be a party of three, and I said, three, you're bringing three into Longhorns, that's too many, lad, we can't fit you, I need you to walk away, put one of your party members outside, we can only do two at most, <laughs> and he said, what, and I'm like, don't you understand my English? <laughs> I sounded way too drunk, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, if you have a bottle of scotch in your hand, I think you're fine. <laughs> you don't sound like no shame for a second. No, the thing is, if I wanted to sound drunk, I'd go more Irish. Like, <laughs> like, like, how are you doing? Can I take your order, sir? Oh, you want wanting the steak? Will that be medium well? Or... Oh, Hold on. <laughs> Can someone stop the bloody room from spinning? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Sometimes we get into accents, and it's really weird. I, I'm sure I've offended Havoc. <laughs> I'm sure he's like, wait, why do I even talk to these people? <laughs> You're doing this for PR, Havoc. <laughs> <laughs> Lark, what the? PR and PR. We've yet to get an Irish hero. Yeah, although, I guess historically speaking, you could argue... No, no, you couldn't even argue that. You couldn't even argue that. I was going to say the, maybe shaman. I was going to say maybe shaman. Well, you, well, aren't the, um, section, you could probably argue Islander. Aren't they... Not to aren't they, the uh, that were set up in Ireland, so there's that. Not to mention, just make an Irish night. Oh, can I do an Australian accent? Okay, here's the funny thing about doing an Australian accent. I can't just fade into it. I've got to say something really Australian. I've got to go like, Crikey, mate! You want me to do an Aussie accent, do you? <laughs> like, like, I've got to say something very stereotypically Aussie for me to be able to do it. I can't just turn that crap on. It's weird, though. Although, apparently, uh, Havoc really liked my Ultor accent. I, I would love to sit here and say, oh, man, I've been practicing that accent for so long. Nah, it's... That's kind of my basic gruff Wolverine style accent. <laughs> like, it's, that's kind of the accent I go for whenever I want to do something very gruff and serious. So that's Wolverine. So you're implying that Wolverine regenerates. What about East Asian Raven? It depends on what part of East Asia, because believe it or not, Koreans, Japanese, and Chinese, and uh, Filipino, they often have very unique. Why am I going this way? I'm so stupid. Why am I going this way? They have. They often have very different sounding accents. Um, <laughs> And I know this. I've I have been friends and even dated several people from various Asian countries. Um, you can usually tell where they're from based on the accent if you listen very closely. How about an Indian accent? <laughs> I can usually say thank you. Like I would like, I'm like thank you for calling Dell Tech Support. How can I direct your call? <laughs> oh my god! I know. I know. I'm racist. Oh, hold on. We're going. Dell Bakun, come here, man. Come here. 
Bam! There we go. Uh, sorry, the, the hearts was cute. The hearts were cute, but I mean, Ruth is saving herself for Ultor, so. <laughs> <laughs> then Ultor be like, no. <laughs> Ultor's like, Ultor gives us a, a sly look to that one warden. Ruth, you want to tell me something? <laughs> I knew I couldn't trust the wardens. <laughs> Happy Leaf Erickson Day, a hanga danga danger. Um. Would you like some Ikea? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that, Lark? <laughs> It was just doing the work. How is that in order? That, that sounded so weird. Raven, you're the reason I picked up For Honor again. I've been enjoying it previously. I had it uninstalled. Hey, man, look, here's the thing. If you re-picked it up again, that's already great. I, again, like I said, I think the trick is just don't take it seriously. You have to chill. You, you, have to, you have to chill with For Honor. If you take it too seriously and you try to be the best there ever was, like, like if you try to be the very best like no one ever was, to catch them as, real, my, as my real test, to train them as my cause, if, that, if no, that's your no, goal... No, is, no, no, You want yeah. me to stop? No, you can't use that. Why not? Because it's not Pokemon. <laughs> well, my point being, if, if, you're, if your goal is to... Uh, and be the best at For Honor and uh, like you're just trying to sweat really hard, you're going to be disappointed because you're always going to come run into someone who plays better than you or you end up, oh, wow, I died. Um, but are you're, are you're, <laughs> Bold words, his final words on this earth. Oh, I died. <laughs> <laughs> famous last words of famous people. Today, you only kill a man. The idea and the crusade lives on. Like... Give this, do not kill him, he has shot me well. Like, all these great last lines, mine, oh, I died. <laughs> <laughs> or like, respawn in three, two, one, connection error. Well, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty, no, the best one would be the Dell turning off noise. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it, isn't that what people joked about for, um... Uh, what was the what was the guy's name that passed away? Back? Steve jo uh, uh, like uh, Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking. Yes. Was that the joke See, that everyone said? Like, like, yep. What was the la what was the last words of Stephen Hawking before he wasted away? Bum 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 bum. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure we just scared off havoc. He came in here with the best of intentions, saw what it was, and said, "I'm leaving. I don't even want to know." <laughs> no, come back, come back, be a part of the crew. Be a part, part of the family. Part of the crew. This has probably been the funniest <laughs> stream we've had all, all like in a long time. You're welcome. Yeah. Speaking of Stephen, <laughs> gotta ask. <laughs> he's back. Speaking of Stephen, gotta ask. Will we ever get a story about him? Actually, I have been asked recently to do a story about him, and I do have a story. I actually have an idea for a story. I just have to flesh it out. Um, I'm, I'm here. I'm just too busy laughing at you. I'm glad we can be entertaining. <laughs> oh, it's the hearts again. I'm so Dova, dude. I love you, but I, I'm I'm seeing Ultor. I'm sorry. It's not you. It's yes. It's not you. It's 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 totally you. It is absolutely you. <laughs> it's 100 percent you. Dova just walked away. Ultor left the house. Heard you've been talking to my girl. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, I can get him. No, I missed him. I missed him. This is why I'm bad at Rainbow Six Siege. I can't shoot for shit. There we go. Boom. Raven's Earth Ruth's mentor, father. Yeah, Steven was the warden who adopted uh, Ruth and the one who trained her. What is the what is there to know about Steve? He lives in a blocky world. Uh, different, different, different Steve, different Steve, very different Steve. So if we make parallel connections from Brawl to Minecraft, I think we might break the internet. All right. <laughs> Steven is Ruth's dad and Ultor is Ruth's daddy. <laughs> 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 That's the very old friend at the dinner table when you break dining hall. Ruth says, Could someone put the good dad, could you pack the salt for both the reach or the salt shake? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. 
I can't, I can't stop laughing. Yeah, I have a new comic book. <laughs> oh, this one means Steven. Oh, hey, dude, we have the same nickname. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out after all this time, Ruth, we found your father. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. I need to stop. I'm getting a headache. Oh my god. <laughs> It is to, to quote to quote Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> I will inspire this life. Oh, Ruth is so close to rep thirty four. Sweet. Oh man. Save her for next week. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll need to do dueling warrior soon. Uh, it's three thirty a.m. I can't deal with. It. Oh, dude, havoc! I can't believe you're watching this at three thirty. I feel so bad now. Oh man, okay, we need to wrap it up anyway because oh, if we stay up too much longer, we're going to be late for a meeting tomorrow. Oh, cool. Thank you guys so much. I want to thank several people. I want to thank Havoc, first of all. We did not invite you to this thing, but we're so glad you showed up. We hope you'll show up to another one. Hey, maybe sometime we can catch you on a stream too, although given our time zone differences, it might be difficult. But hey, dude, love having you here. You were a blast. We had so many laughs. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you didn't find it too weird. This is pretty much what our streams are. We don't really play to when we play to just laugh. That's pretty much what it is. Um, so I want to thank it. Um, catch you next time, Havoc, truthfully. We'll see you next time, bro. I also want to thank uh, Hannah for joining me tonight. Hannah, did you enjoy this? Did you have fun? I mean, yeah, it, it, was, it was pretty nice. It was pretty would, nice. It was would, nice. You be willing to, would you be willing to hop on again? Probably. <laughs> that probably. That, that, was, that was a very unexcited probably. Kind of a, oh, do, do I have to? I mean, probably. Like, 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 must I? And then people are like, here's some green stuff. It's like, oh, I like this green stuff. Yeah, I probably. I probably will jump on. Well, well, I hope you will. We had a great time with you, Hannah. Um, you've already been paid to do uh, another Clayer image. So uh, right. while, I'm fi while I'm fixing uh, Fulgrim up, that may be something to try. Um, we'll talk about that later. We don't need to talk about that right now. I also want to thank Lark for keeping an eye on chat and joining us and having such a great time. Lark, you are awesome. Thank you as always. I'm helping. Yes, you are. Um, and, I've, and finally, I want to thank all you guys. Like, like I've said, guys, this channel cannot be done. It cannot be done without you. Having you guys watch and support the channel and be just oh, such a wonderful audience means the world to me. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you guys so much for watching and continuing to support me. Super excited for the Ocelotl here. It's going to be so cool when it comes out next week. Super excited for what's coming in the season. I can't wait to try it all out. Don't forget that tomorrow is Mass Effect night. We're going to be doing the next part of Mass Effect, and Sunday we'll be picking up Persona 5 where we left off. It's going to be a lot of fun this weekend. I'm looking forward to it with all of you. And as always, we will see you in our next video. Take care.